rules because mommy's not going to let you fail, all right? Now carve up. You're talking about competition, and that's when I check out. See you later. Baby, I'm not overly competitive, am I? You? Yeah. Nah. Race you to the door. Go! You add the tomatoes. Make sure that they are organic tomatoes. And then what you want to do is get, put the mustard on. Not too much mustard because then this it will pour out the sides and you'll have to lick your fingers and people will call you a fat, fat, fatty. <laughs> then what you want to do is add the mayonnaise. If you don't have mayonnaise, what I usually do is squeeze my thigh together. <laughs> Stuff, Mom. Where should I put this stuff, Mom? Where should I put this stuff, Mom? Did you tangle your neck? Did you count your knee thoughts? Did you even wash your balls? <laughs> I haven't even brushed my teeth yet. <laughs> you let me go in nonstop since breakfast. Junior, if you want to be equipment manager, you're going to have to stop with the wine. I don't want to be equipment manager. Unbelievable. to make you a part of my peewee soccer dynasty and you're just sloughing it off like it's nothing? <laughs> that help? Go hose down your ball, son. <laughs> baby, come here. You need a help. Come here. Oh, come here. Oh, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe I do have a teeny weeny tendency to go a little overboard. And in the scheme of things, maybe my dream of having a professional little girls soccer team is just not that important. Yes, exactly. I don't you! <laughs> Who? Your mother? Yeah. Oh, she went out. Good. We need to talk. What's the matter? Soccer's not fun with your mommy coaching you? Dad, she goes crazy. She blows the whistle and then she yells at everybody. Alex Jr. Your mother's a tough coach? She was terrible, Dad. She's yelling at five-year-old girls to drop and give her 20. They can't count past three. <laughs> then she yelled at this one kid so loud he wet himself. I thought it was an all-girls team. I was scared. <laughs> hey, I'll talk to your mother for you, okay? She'll yell at you, too. I'm not afraid of her. You should be. <laughs> Best three out of five. Right. <laughs> I need time, okay? Not even Michael Jordan plays the whole 48 minutes. <laughs> Woo! You give me a chance to work on my playbook. <sighs> you know, Jay, I think you're taking this whole coaching thing a little too seriously. I mean, this is supposed to be fun for Katie. Michael, 
I'm trying to teach these girls about discipline, teamwork, and respect. But that stuff ain't fun when you're five. It's not fun when you're 45. <laughs> you trying to tell me how to coach? That's no. hilarious. Michael, you are funny. You don't have a clue how to do what I do. Probably not. But you know what? I bet you they would have a lot more fun if I coached them. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Well, then, here. Since no, you're I'm... so smart, Michael, here, take I the whistle. I don't want your whistle. Uh -uh, no, take no, it. I don't want to take over the team, Jay. I'm oh, just... you can talk the talk, but you can't walk the walk, huh? Yeah, but I can squawk the bark, and I can eat the chalk, and I can hop, hop, hop like a little motherfucker. <laughs> Just like Peter Falk. <laughs> I want you to see how ridiculous you're being. I mean, you, you're hard on them. I'm starting to get concerned for those kids. Oh, boo-hoo, boo-hoo, the poor kids. I didn't know I was married to Sally Struthers. <laughs> you know what? Give me this whistle. Good. You want Fine. me to take over? Yeah, take I'm over. I'm going to take over. You do that. And you know what? What? It's time. Race you to the back door. Okay. Let's go. I want it then. Good. Could you make me a sandwich? <laughs> I just want to say that no one's ever won a game of soccer by dying for his team. You win a game of soccer by making some other poor dumb die for his team. <laughs> yeah, I'd never slept that. That's just not a very good impression. <laughs> All right, well, listen, you know what? Forget the impressions. Let us learn today the basic rules of the game of soccer. And rule number one, always get a firm grip on the ball. <laughs> yes, Melissa? In soccer, you're not allowed to touch the ball with your hand. <laughs> Well, let's look into the soccer rule book and see if, in fact, that is true. Yeah, rule number one, don't touch the ball too much. Very good, Melissa. You passed my test, and the rest of you should have known that. You're not allowed to touch the ball with your hands. Well, you know what? Let's forget the rules for right now. I want us to concentrate on the fundamentals of the game, okay? And you can't have fundamentals without having fun. Or the mentals, for that matter. <laughs> yes? What are the mentals? Well, it looks like little Miss Harriet Potter doesn't quite know everything, does she? <laughs> the mentals, my little genius are the things that go on inside of your brain that prevent you from having fun while you're playing the game of soccer. See, the mentors tell you you're not fast enough to play the game. You're not strong enough. You're not smart enough to play the game of soccer. That's why we have to make the mentors fun. Hence, the fundamentals. <laughs> you got it? She just trying to cover up all her pain of losing you as a coach with all that love the soccer stuff. 
don't have to sugarcoat it for me, Michael. The team likes you better. It's okay. No, baby, listen. I, those girls love you. I could never replace you. I just think maybe my coaching techniques are a little more suited to, you know, five-year-olds. You're probably right. But uh, just out of curiosity, what plays did you go over? Oh, we didn't go with plays per se. We just kind of went out there and we fooled around, you know? What the hell are you doing to my team? <laughs> you asked me to coach them. They were running around there today like chickens with their heads cut off. You were spying on us? I thought that tree had a nice ass. Yes. <laughs> that was me. That was me. And you were pathetic, Michael. Teach them how to kick with your little sissy dance. What was that? What was that? Yeah, I think it's way too early for you to be criticizing my coaching methods. What coaching methods? There were no... You didn't even blow your whistle. How do you expect them to shut up if you don't blow your whistle? Listen, we are talking about little girls. This is only about them having fun, not about winning. the most sexist thing I have ever heard. And how did that become the most sexist thing you ever heard? <laughs> this was a boys team. It'd be all about winning. Okay, maybe I want them to win a game or so, but I'm not gonna beat them up and berate them like you do. Are you calling me a lousy coach? No, what I'm saying it's is... It's bad enough that I lose my job, but now to find out that the man I love doesn't even think that I have what it takes to coach a little girl's soccer team? You know what? That's way too much. Oh, this ain't over yet. Oh, this ain't over <laughs> Let me tell you this. All the love that they have for you is going to go straight into the crapper the minute you lose your first game. You mark my word. Well, we're not going to lose the first game. We're going to win. That's right. I hope. Think. I pray for rain. <laughs> And you know what we really need to get back to? If he says fundamentals one more time, I'm going to shoot myself. <laughs> Guys, how did it go? It was great. We came in second. <laughs> second? Mm -hmm. well, okay, well, as long as you had fun. <laughs> Lisa, did you have fun losing 18 to zip? What the hell do you think? Hey, 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 hey. Language, Melissa. Well, I am pretty P.O. Hey, now, Mr. Kyle is right. You have to watch your language. See, that's what I'm going to be teaching my new kids on my new team. You, you have a new team? Oh, let me tell you. Oh. You know what the league called me today? And apparently, one of the coaches of the other teams got into a little skiing accident, and they asked me to take over the Blue Jays. <laughs> Why are we scared? We can't win. Because the Blue Jays are mean and nasty and huge, and one of them looks like she shakes. Well, I mean, it can't be that bad, huh? Well, see for yourself, baby, because we're going to be playing you next week. Jay, why'd you do this? Because I thought it would be fun. <laughs> oh, Claire, you've seen your 
father's uh, practice, right? What plays are they using? They don't have plays. They just eat candy and run around in circles until they get dizzy. <laughs> don't lie to me. You gotta know something. <laughs> Dad, she's crazy! Stop torturing the girl. She doesn't know anything. Oh, could it be that somebody's a little frightened about the big game on Saturday? <laughs> You're the only one thinking about the big game, and this is not a big game. It's actually as small a game as a game can get. Waving the white flag already. Well, actually, I think we have a chance. <laughs> oh, you do that. That's right. Katie looked pretty damn good out there today. Why, Katie? I'm shaking in my boots about Big Bad Katie. <laughs> so competitive. There's a long story behind it. Okay, never mind. No! No, baby, I would feel much better if I told you the story. Really? I'm sure I won't, but go ahead. I'm kidding. All right. Well, you may not believe this, but there was a time in my life when I was what might be considered a big girl. <clears throat> really? <laughs> Now, I, at that time, I was seven years old, about three foot two and 106 pounds. No comment. <laughs> My dad, the Marine Sergeant, thought it would be a good idea if I got some exercise, so he signed me up to the little girl soccer team. Play what, the goalie? Yeah. He actually called me the wall. Nothing could get by me, babe. I mean, I finally felt like somebody. And the kids weren't teasing me, singing, fat, fat, water rat, go and scratch your hairy back. I can't tell you what a turnoff this story is. Anyway, I was hot. Nothing could get by me. All right, back. girls, we ready to have some fun out here? Yeah! Okay, remember, I want you to keep that energy up. And how do we keep our energy up? Two words. Pixie stick! Yeah! All right, here. I want you to take some and pass the rest. Everybody get some. Now, Melissa, remember, you're our goalie. You got to keep your eyes on the ball at all times. Just pretend that the ball is Justin Timberlake. team win. Wish them luck, Blue Jays. Yeah. Wait a minute. Are you sure these are all girls? Of course they're girls, Michael. All of them? What about this one? Oh, Inga? That's our secret weapon. She's from East Germany, raised under a power line. Still don't explain why she looked like she's wearing a cup. Do you want chat or would you like to play some soccer
That's all right. My girls are having fun out here. Okay. Don't say I didn't give you the chance. <laughs> that the Blue Jays are celebrating their victory dinner, huh? Why don't we uh, be a good sport and say congratulations to the Blue Jays, huh, Robin? Congratulations, Blue Jays! Well, actually, we are not celebrating our victory. Then what are you celebrating? We're celebrating my retirement from coaching. I forgive you. But why this sudden change of heart? It made me realize what I've been missing all these years. What, medication? <laughs> no. Fun. Good for you. She was great, wasn't she? Yes. Come here, baby. That was a great goal. I was so proud of you. Thank you, Mommy. Hey, let's get the kids some drinks. No, no, no. You stay here, I'll get it. Okay. Bring in your beer. <laughs> Baby. Yeah. Glad you're finally able to let this whole winning thing go. Me too. It's a real relief. 13 to 1, sucker. <laughs> it's Katie bowling for me. Well, actually, it wasn't Katie. It was Ponsquilla. One, two. <laughs> Well, actually, it wasn't Katie. It was Quince. Quince? <laughs> it wasn't Katie. It was Maria Consuela. <laughs> Martina. Maria Martina. Well, actually, it wasn't Katie. It was Martina Martola. 